Does anybody remember the shark fin modem? This is it. This would be a 3Com or possibly a US Robotics branded one. This is a 3Com one. I know it's hard to make the labels out here. Uh, here's the information on it here is the uh, 3Com Home Connect cable modem. The model. It says assembled in USA, but of course we all know what that means. On the back here is the serial number and all that stuff. I'll just cover up. Not that it means anything, but I did purchase this modem years ago and although it's not hooked up, it's nobody's business on this. Although if it were product key stickers or a serial number on anything else, I wouldn't care. But because my cable company is crazy and wanted to charge me for this modem that I purchased with my own money back in the day when I had to because they weren't giving them away free like they do these days. Uh, I had to provide all sorts of documentation and crazy stuff. Anyways, uh, just your standard coax connector, Ethernet, which was up to 100 megabits per second, and your 12 volt connector, 1 amp max. The only problem with this modem and the reason, well first of all, the reason I wanted to show you this is this is the only cable modem that I know of that would actually have sounds built in. This modem made uh, oh three maybe four sounds and that's really all I remember about it. There might have been a fourth sound I really don't remember anymore. There was also a firmware upgrade that they forced everybody to do that took the this icon here which is your data transferring um, icon or indicator and what that would normally do is it would be out when you would be transferring data it would start flashing almost like an ethernet um, port light on a switch or something like that um, but it would only flash when data was being transferred and back in those days we didn't have crazy windows updates and a thousand billion uh, things running in the background, they're all vying for your internet connections. Uh, um, um, well, you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> Attention. Uh, anyhow, the firmware upgrade changed the function of this light. So instead of being off and blinking when you transfer data, it would be on all the time and would blink off when transferring data. And I hated it ever since then. It just never looked right. It always looked better when you could actually see stuff. Is it loading? Is it doing stuff? Wait, did that just go out or is it on? What's going? You could never quite figure it out. But I wanted to show you the one sound it will make without hooking it up. I'm not going to hook it up to the cable line because A, it won't connect. Uh, this is, I think, a Doxis 1.0, maybe a 2.0 modem. And it probably wouldn't even connect. Their provisioning system is so crazy about anybody hooking anything up that I probably would get in trouble if I did that but I always wanted to power this up I have no idea where the adapter went it's 12 volts DC and any adapter that I have the plug just doesn't fit I'll give you a better angle this is what I'm talking about this is the connector I have and I know there's different variations on it but I had like six different ones and none of them would fit so what I ended up doing is finding my laptop universal charger with all different tips on it like that and just hooked a couple alligator clips up to it. This is the correct tip for this particular thing. That's probably about the best shot I can get you there. And this will plug in here. I'll set this up for you like that. Get my wires here. Plug this guy in. I don't know what the correct polarity is, so we're just going to sort of find out if it works first time great. Nope, wrong way. Now it takes, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, and you'll hear the sound it makes. That's right, the modem itself makes that sound. The only one I know of that actually will do sounds.
built in. You can't make it do any other things. It only has this sound. It had another sound that would go something like dee 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 when it would connect to the cable line. You see the light flashing where it's actually trying to, you know, connect to the cable company and stuff like that. Uh, if it would disconnect, it had a really awesome type sound. So I always thought that was cool. And I think the top light is a message icon, which was never used, and I believe I read that there was a light associated with that. Uh, obviously, this is going to sit here and just blink all day, so I'll do it one more time for you so you can hear it. Just one more time. Very unique styling for a computer peripheral like this. I used to keep it right on top of the tower, which was on the floor back in the day. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.